So here is the outcome of our two-piece corset with shoulder and arm hook. If you are new to this channel, you are welcome. I am G Joy. I am the face behind Joy Dollar Fashion Guide. And I make videos like this one weekly. So if you want to skip seeing more of those videos, just put on the notification bell, subscribe to this channel, and you'll be seeing more of beautiful videos like this. And also don't forget to give me a thumbs up, don't forget to share this video, and don't forget to like this video. You're welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be making a corset top with shoulder, a two-piece corset with shoulder and armhole. We're going to be using this to draft our pattern first, and this is the fabric that we're going to be working with. And here is the lining. We'll be using this wording for it. And then we'll be using this zipper or this for it. So let's go straight into the video. I have here an outline of I have here marked out an outline of the half scale bodies pattern drawn out behind the shoulder the armhole then I have the chest line marked out the shoulder to the chest 9 inches shoulder to the boss point 11 inches shoulder to on the boss 15 and a half and then we are using this as the top length so I'll just quickly realize what we have and label it I'm going to be inputting my bus palm measurement divided by 2. Okay, let me label this. This is the chest line. This is the bust line. This is the under bus. And then this is the blouse length. So, on the bust line, I'll mark half of my bus palm measurements. I'll also mark it on the under bust on the waistline I just connect that I will extend that to the chest line On the under bust, I'm going to be taking a dart of one inch on both sides. I will also repeat that on the waistline. Then I'll connect with my straight ruler. On the bust line, I'll come down by half inch, sorry, by one inch, and then I'm going to use my curve ruler to connect it to the under bust on both sides. And then on this shoulder, you're going to be marking half of the shoulder and connect it to this chest line. That is the shoulder that.
so I'm going to mark the difference between the bust circumference, the bust and the under bust. I have a four and a half. So with the with the night with the four and a half on the bust line like this, I'm going to mark it. We are going to need it for a guide. Okay, then I also mark it at this side. We're going to determine the neck the neckline of our corset top. Um, I want mine to be seven and a half, seven and a half deep. Well, let me make use of eight, eight inches. And then on that point, I'll mark the bust separation of half inch and connect it to the bust line. So do it well to use your own measurement and your own preference. So I'm going to be taking a dart of one inch, okay, on both sides. Let me mark out this cup, this three and a half, sorry, this four and a half. Let's mark it around to see where it is. So do what we make use of yours. This is according to my measurements. So I'm going to take the same that I took under the under the under boss, I will take it here as well. One inch on both sides. One inch on both sides of the curve. Okay. Then I both on this bust point bust, I'll go up by one inch and then I'll connect. With a curve ruler, using my curve ruler, connect to that point to form the breast cup. I want full coverage for my breast, that is why I am using this. So, you may not use this, you can make use of the chest line. Okay, so it's according to your preference. You can use your chest line. To, to mark yours. So I'm going to use the curve ruler to connect from this point to the neckline. And then I'm going to also connect to the under bus. So one of our cup is ready. So we are going to be completing the other cup. So on this side, I'm going to come out by half inch. Let me take 
see what is I have here okay so I can take half inch we are trying to form the second cup and the second cup is is part of the armhole and the shoulder so at this point I'm going to connect to half of the shoulder point this is the wideness that I want my shoulder to be okay so you can also decide the wideness of your shoulder this is two and quarter so you can decide to make yours two inches or make yours three inches or two and a half so depends on what you want so with a long with a ruler i'm going to connect from here to here The dart that we took here, I'm going to replace it on this chest line. We took a two inches dart, so I'll replace it here. Half of what I have here, I have one and a half here. So I'll mark half of it. Is it 1.6? Okay, 1.6. I'll mark half of it. So I'll connect this now to under the post. So here is kind of bigger now. This is, the, this is where we are cutting from here, here. Okay. Let me see what I have. Okay, so I'm going to impute the bust circumference divided by four on this bust line. Bust circumference divided by four. And then on the under bust. I'll also impute the under bust measurement divided by four. Under bust measurement divided by four. Then you replace this dart. Then on the waistline, you take your waist measurement divided by four. Waist measurement divided by four. You also replace this dart. So we just connect that. Let's see what we have. So remember that we have not imputed, um, we have not added our seam allowance. Okay, so on this chest line, I just add one inch here. I'll add one and a half or two inches it's better there is excess than is not enough if it is surplus you can always trim it out later so here is our center front and here is our side front here is cup one and cup two. So do where to mark your pattern. We are going to add same allowance to this shoulder. Okay, don't forget, you're going to add half inch seam allowance to it. Okay, and then you also add seam allowance when you are cutting it out of fabric. I'll be showing us. 
So let's cut out what we have. Remember that this is on fold. You also cut this on fold. On fold. On fold. On fold. So this is the front panel. So let's go ahead and cut the back panel. We also have our lines drawn out. We have the shoulder line, then the shoulder slants, the armhole depth, okay, and then we have marked out the armhole curve. Then also marked out is the shoulder, the shoulder to the bust point. Okay, and then two inches above that is the chest line. Then we are not using the we don't really need the under but it's marked out and then the length of of the top. So this is our chest line. This is our bust line. Okay, and then we have the waistline. This is our waistline. This is the bust line. This is our chest line. So I also repeat the the bust fan measurement divided by two on the bust line, on the chest line, and then on the waist line. And I use a ruler to connect that. We also mark half of our shoulder line we connect that to the chest line I'm going to be taking a waist dart half inch on both sides on this chest line, I'll come down by one inch. Now I'm going to determine the depth of of my back. I think I'll make use of this chest line. This chest line is uh, nine inches. Okay. I'll just come up by half inch. Then I connect that to to the shoulder like this. Then I put my on the bust line, put the bust circumference divided by by four. That is quarter of your bust circumference. We have a small dart here, so do it to replace it. And then on the waistline, I'll be putting my waist. The waist circumference divided by four. That is what you put here. And then the dart, the one inch dart, you replace it. And then you are going to connect that. So I also add seam allowance. I think I will reduce my seam allowance to one and a half. So when I'm cutting on fabric, I'm going to use one and a half seam allowance. I'm going to be adding the same amount to this down part. On this chest line, I also mark the bust circumference divided by four. On 
then the one inch seam. Or I can just simply extend this line upward like this. One more thing on this back pattern, I'll just go up by one inch and slant it towards the and slant it towards the waistline. That is to avoid zip budge. I've not added zipper allowance to this pattern, so do where to add zipper allowance to yours if you are using a zipper. And then if you want to use a loop, you need to reduce the size, the, um, you need to reduce here by at least one and a half inch if you are using loop. You just reduce it by one and a half like this. You know it's on four, that means three inches wide. Or if you are okay with two inches, so according to how you want it. So that means you'll be cutting it out. But I'm not going to use a loop. I'm going to use a zipper. So I'll cut out the neckline now. So this neckline, you can also, it's not compulsory, you must make yours, uh, a curve. You can also do a V neckline. You can also make it a V like this. So you can make it a V. It must be a curve. Okay. This is optional. Yours must not be one inches. You can use the difference between the front length and the back length. Okay, that is what you for some persons. Theirs is two inches. You know there is no bust at the back, so the shoulder to the waist. You take the measurement of the shoulder to the waist at the back. The measurement of the shoulder to the waist in front, and then the difference is what you cut out here. So this is our back pattern. We are using this fabric. So if your front and back fabric is very close, do where to map it with a chalk. So I'm going to be cutting on the center front and the side front first. I've added the same allowance to the down part, to the side, like this. Half inch same allowance. And I'm cutting it on fold. Then the center, the side back, or we'll add some allowance around it as well. And then I'm going to be cutting the cup. They are cutting it on fold. You have to use pin to hold your fabric down so that it doesn't keep moving. So these are all the pieces for the front pattern. We are cutting the back or fold. This is our back pattern. Then you cut open the zipper side. So you also use this to cut the lining. So all our patterns are ready. The back. This is the back. And this is the lining. We are using this wording for the cup. And then this is the front piece. The new fabric, the lining. This is the center front, the new fabric and the lining. Then this cup. Mark the direction they are going so that you don't miss it up. When you remove your, paper, your pattern. Okay, so I marked it here. Mark it the other one as well. 
Okay, mark the lining. I'm also gonna have to mark this. Also mark this. This is how the cup. We are having two parts. So this is how it will be. So you have to mark it so that you don't miss miss it up. You don't want to make a mistake and to turn it upside down. So that is the essence of marking it. So this and this go together and this and this go together. So you are going to be proceeding to sew. We join it together from here to here. So we sew here to this side. We also sew from here to the other side as well. So after we have done that, we are going to be sewing the midpoint and uh, we are going to be joining the, the center front and the side front. We we'll join the main fabric. We we'll join here. We we'll sew with the half inch. And we we'll also join here. I'm going to sew here down to half inch as well. We'll repeat the same for the line. We'll sew here down half inch. We we'll also sew here down half inch. And then the wording will be sewing it as one piece. So when we are showing sure that, we are going to sew the back. We are going to sew the darts. We will not be cutting it out. We we'll just pinch it like this. And sew like a triangle. We'll sew here like this. We'll repeat the same for the other side and the lining as well. So this is what we have after sewing. We have joined the center front and the side front together. We have sewn the cup. The cup is very bitter. Please don't iron the cup. Let it maintain its original shape. This is the cup. And then this is the wording we are going to place inside the cup. Make it sit right in the middle of the cup like this. Okay. And then you want to secure it. Use a stitch to secure it to the middle of the cup. The same way we saw the join the center front with the side. And this is the cup beautiful and then you sew the cup just notch around this curvy side and then I also on the stitch it so that it doesn't rip see that's from a nice cup I also notch this main fabric this curvy part I notch it when you are notch be careful so that you don't cut through the seam we have our back piece here. I've sewn the dart. I don't want to cut it. This is the zipper line. And then this is the lining. So down the dart. I also mark the zipper line. So we'll be going to iron it out now. Okay. And also fold the zipper area in place. We will not iron the cup of the front panel. So we are true. 
I'll tell you what next to do. Iron it, pressing the seam open. Okay, I'll just reshape it a little. So if you like, you can iron interfacing on your main fabric. But I'm going to only iron on the neckline. Right sides facing each other. I will sew along this neckline using the same allowance. The same allowance you have left from the 0 0.5 or 0 0.25. I will sew it then under stitch it. Okay. And then I'll also sew the zipper area down. I'll sew here down. Okay. I'll repeat same for the others for the other parts. Since it's not going to get to this end, you can I can go ahead and attach to this one first, making sure that this part where it is sewn is aligned with this joining part okay just make sure it aligns if your whole cup is getting to the edge then you have to add the cup first sew down the cup first you see it as aligned so what you want to do is to also notch around here with small small one eight just notch it a little so that you'll be able to sew the cup perfectly notch it a little repeat same for the other side and then just when you are done with that take it round the cup like this this is how you pin the cup area and when you are done use half inch to sew from one end like this to the other end repeat same for the other cup so this is the front piece this is what we have after sewing so you go ahead and reshape the neckline of the front you just fold it into two like this and then you reshape it you reshape it shape it then you are going to be adding the regular line bone in this line here so we'll sew it here we leave the stop half inch before the down part we we'll sew it here and then on this mid middle part we we'll also sew it on this middle part leaving half inch on the top and also here and then the way we have sewed this front piece we we'll also sew the lining like that we we'll also join the lining like that so this is what we have so far we have sewed the neckline of the back and we have also sewed the zipper area So I'm also ironing it. We have some that part to iron it, trim out the excess lining that you have by the side, and then we're going to close the down part. We close the armhole and the down part. We leave the side first. We turn it like this right side facing each other and then you sew the down it's the same allowance that you have left and then you sew the ample area you sew the ample area and repeat same for for the other one and then this is what we have for the front, the front parts. 
we have put the bone in. So this is the style I want. If you like, you can also put this yellow here and here. So I only put this part, I saw the bone inside. And then I'm going to attach the bra cup in place with it water. And then this is our line. See our line, very beautiful. So what you are going to do for this front piece, we are going to place the lining on over it, right side facing each other. And then you are going to sew. I'm going to sew this neck area using our seam allowance. Then we extend it here. We're going to sew to this place. Do where to pin it in place. So with the same allowance that you have left, either 0, 0 0.5 or 0 0.25, half or quarter. Okay. Through the neckline and then back to this place. Then I also understitch it. So this is our back piece, it's ready, it's left with the sides, and then here is the front piece, and I'm drawing the neckline. So we're going to reshape the angle now, and cut out the excess lining, after which we sew the armhole. After sewing the armhole, we are going to join the shoulders. We are going to join the shoulders together. I will show you how to do that after joining the armhole. So first sew the armhole, notch the curvy side. This curvy please notch it so that when you turn it, it can relax. Just make sure you don't cut through the same. Then bring it inside out. So I've also gone ahead to press it. So this is what it looks like. See how this is have relaxed because of the notches. So I'm going to join the shoulders together. It will be the other one is inside, and then you go ahead and stitch down using the same allowance that you gave. I gave half inch seam allowance, so I'm going to stitch it down with the half inch. Just make sure it stays well. You can use your pin. And then we sew it here, like here, half inch. This is what we have after joining it. So I'll go ahead and do the same for the other side. The shoulder is ready. So we'll go ahead and close the down part of the foot. And then we'll just put all these ones inside like this. And then close the down. Using the same allowance that we left.
So if I use the half inch seam allowance that we give. So from this end to this end, so you are going to close up the side. You are true with your handle. So you want to use your pin here. Just take match the back piece and the front piece together, right side facing each other, and then you pin it down. This is this side right side facing each other match it together like this and use your pin and then we leave a small opening and just sew it sew it to the place as close as possible then leave the small opening that you will turn it out and do the same for the other side so this is what we have after closing the side. We are going to close up this place and also the other side. We we'll also close it up. After which we now join the two sides together using our measurements and join the sides the to the to the waist. So we finish joining the side. So what is left now is to add the zip. I want the ends to be here. So just spin it down. I'll pin it down like this and then I'm going to sew here and then this other end you can cut it or just fold it to the back fold it to the back like this or you cut it so you have finished sewing the side you do where to use your needle to tack here so that you don't break your needle so and when you are sewing leave the zip close so that you'll be able to sew conveniently the way we are true I'm going to fold this inside like this and just stitch it down okay you can cut it and stitch the other the remaining one down stitch this left over down so we want to fix this other side making sure that they are starting from the same place like this You can open your zip so that you'll be able to pin this one. Follow the the place that you folded when you were ironing. Just pin it along that edge.
you close it up to so we are through with the zipper so we have come to the end of this tutorials please like the video share the video until the next time i come your way again i remain g joy mm -hmm.